Gabriel Gonzaga from Brazil making his way to the uh, jungle fight ring and interesting finery. We get to finally see some heavyweights, and the heavyweights move can move like middleweights that are that quick. This should be a very interesting battle between Gonzaga and Fabrio, uh, excuse me, Fabricio Wardo. You know, Gonzaga is you know, a great competitor, he's a great fighter. You can see you walk in here. He comes from um, a, a great a great competitive background. You know, most of these guys in this camp, you can see uh, actually uh, the couple of guys that, that, are, that are in this camp, that's Makako sitting behind him that uh, actually is going to fight later on tonight with his hands already taped. You know, his corner is one of the best corners around right now in, in this this you know, level of, of competition. And he's 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 set almost to start breaking his way in a little bit. And he needs a little more time to, to develop his skills. You get a good look there at Gabriel Gonzaga, and he's going to be facing the one and only Fabricio Wordham, and Wordham is clearly the more experienced fighter, is clearly the more feared fighter, and it could be a very interesting battle to see what he can do. I mean, this guy is good standing up. He's very good on the ground. It could be a lot of fun to see what he does, and you see him coming out in the traditional Amazon gear. Very intense, very intense fire there. You know, I gotta tell you what, both these guys I think are gonna try to keep uh, try to keep it up on the feet a little bit more. Um, it's gonna be a good exchange, but both these guys are better at their better base is is stand up. Um, of course Burdum is an exceptionally gifted guy on the ground. Uh, I mean, just amazingly gifted, but he prefers actually to, to strike, to swing, so we'll kind of see what happens with him. Yeah, he's one of the bigger Brazilian heavyweights you'll, you'll see, but once again, if he goes to the ground, it can be over quickly. If you look here at the tail of the tape, you see Fabrizio, uh, Fabrizio Wardham is clearly the bigger fighter in this fight. Yeah, both guys have jiu-jitsu as their, uh, as their uh, main base, and, and you know, we're going to see a little bit on the ground, but I have a feeling more, more that's going to be is going to be up up in the air, more standing standing by by all means. I think uh, both these guys love to strike, they prefer to strike. Than they do to to uh, try to finish with submission because striking to them is so new. Well, we're getting set for round one. Once again, your referee will be Paulo Filo, bringing both fighters together here, giving them final instructions. You see the size of Fabrizio Wordham. I mean, he is he is a big Brazilian. He's about six four, two fifty. So here we go, comes out right away. It looked like it was going to go with a flying knee and changed it in midair to a kick. And right away, Wordham, clearly the more aggressive fighter, trying to probably surprise Gonzaga. Gonzaga doing a good job of nullifying. You know, took a couple of knees right there in the midsection, uh, flush knees, and didn't block him at all. But doing a good job of trying to tie everything up. You know, of course, going right back to his base. Jiu Jitsu is is the thing that he uses a little bit more than anything else uh, even though he did say he wanted to try to stand up and knock him out uh, he, he's doing a good job of, of uh, trying to attack and, and get him get this to the ground word of with some good knees early on as well good battle between these two fighters from Brazil Wardham, a lot of a lot of big things expected from Wardham in his fight career when it's gonna be all said and done a lot of hype going into this fight about how good his trainers believe he will be. And once again, it's, the, it's that potential war that you never know about Trey because you never know how good guys can be and it's going to be up to them to continue to progress and get better and better. Yeah, you have some early success, you may not want to train as hard. Oh, good job getting him to the ground, you know, good, good tight, tight position. Good leg trip, you know, not not the best takedown I've ever seen, but definitely a good good job getting to the ground. 
But uh, with, with Vertum, a lot of guys say how good he is, and, and he had some success very early in his fight career against some really tough components, and, and you know, sometimes you tend not to get any better, but he is definitely getting better, definitely getting stronger, and hopefully continue that so he can become one of the best guys in the world. Right now, Paulo Filo will say, hey, let's stand him up. Let's get him back on their feet. So here we go. Back on your feet in the first round. Ryan Bennett, Frank Trigg, and the beautiful Amazon, and both fighters working hard. Another takedown scored, and we'll see what they. This is this is where the the fight really begins because both guys are pretty good at jujitsu. Could be interesting to see who has better jujitsu in this position. Yeah, yeah, both these guys are highly accomplished. Verdum has the better has the better you know competition record in jiu-jitsu but remember there's no gi on right now and and you know it's very difficult to do jiu-jitsu when someone's punching you in the stomach or punching you in the head and it depends on uh, it's a different kind of it's a different style of jiu-jitsu well, you want to go for a, a key lock or maybe a kimura early on but now back into the half guard here the half guard a pretty pretty dangerous to position uh, if you're underneath it uh, you, know, you know, right now, Verdum's in a little bit of trouble because he doesn't have that underhook with his left hand. If he can underhook uh, his, his opponent's right hand, he'll really get back. Oh, right to the full mount. Good job. Yeah, this is a quick, quick move. And now, holding on, I, I mean, plenty of time still left in this first round. So, this is not a position you want to be in. Good job for Gonzaga. He's on top, raining down. Good, good separation. Got him off his chest. He was able to start punching down on him. And you know, uh, uh, Verdum's a little bit of trouble here. He's, he needs to try to get out of this mount as quickly as possible. I was gonna say, you know, Gonzaga was a huge underdog going into this fight, and right now he's trying to uh, buck ward him off him if he can. Both fighters, this this would be a huge upset trick. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm amazed at, 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 at Verms. He's really not moving his hips. He's really not really doing anything to truly, to truly get out of this mount. He's just kind of content to stay there, tie up the hands a little bit. But Now he gets out. He mentioned him. He bucked him off like he asked. Good separation. I really enjoy the way that these guys get out, you know, get out of that mount position when they're mounted, how they cleanly get out and get really good separation, get, get themselves back in this fight. And Trigg, uh, I'm surprised he, he, okay, now he does. Paulo Filo, I was going to say, gave him a little time to uh, get off the ground, and he finally does here. Back, Game? back up on their feet, and you know, you can kind of see how Virum is still being, being the aggressor. Uh, a, a little bit, and then right when he got hit, right when he came back up again, he stopped moving. Ooh, Gonzaga, look, he might have a little cut right now from that last knee. Yeah, it looks like he does, and Wordham, oh, nice combination oh. there, Lance. Good job by Wordham. Jeez, he, dro he dropped him there for a second. He dropped Gonzaga there for a second, but Gonzaga, do a job recovering. You know, Gonzaga's really impressed. I mean, like I said, another takedown gets the single leg this time. Good job. Excellent work. Excellent work. Both guys are really active, and you can tell these are bigger guys. These aren't your smaller guys, and look at the action these guys are coming with. Both guys being aggressive. You know, they're being paid to fight, so they're coming to fight. Yeah, you're talking about guys that are 230, 240, respectively, and they are battling it out here early on in this jungle fight. Now you see Gizaga get back to his feet. Wordham can tend to be on his back until either the referee calls for a stand-up or until Gonzaga engages, and now he comes back and does engage. Well, this guy's slowed down a little bit now. I mean, this, this round, so it takes, takes a little bit out of you when you're starting to move that much and as much action as they're having. You see Gonzaga trying to go for the pass, kind of just diving in there. Wordham now goes for the ankle. Oh, he's got a little bit of a knee bar. It's, it's off now. He's turned out of it. You can see how quick he can throw on submission. He continues to work for it and tries to grab it. Can't get it, so he just lets go. And 
That's the end of round one. Wordham, Gonzaga. Battling it out and Wordham. I, I don't know if he won the last round. He, he finished the round strong, Trig, but it's going to be interesting to see what here, happens here in round two. You know, the, the biggest thing is that, uh, uh, is that he, 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 when he hit Gonzaga, he dropped him down one time. Wordham is doing a great job of, of, of staying active, but... You know, obviously Gonzaga is the one being a little bit more aggressive. He's shooting in a lot more, taking him down, you know, two or three times. So it, it, that first round was a very even round. You know, it could have very easily been a been a nine nine round, uh, but you got to have that that kind of ten ten nine round must system. So you've got to have it. And you know, really, I would probably give that first round to Gonzaga because he took down Burdum you know, two or three more times. Yeah, I agree. And the trick we're seeing in a totally different round two now. Wardham continues to pound on Gonzaga. Gonzaga looks very tired. You saw him coming out in that second round. He, he looked a lot more tired than Wardham now. I think he sees it. He embraced it. He got the takedown easily. Continues to rain punches now. Oh, Wardham landing some big time knees as well. I mean, they're being blocked, but it doesn't make a difference. Even if you're blocking those knees, they're still sneaking through. And that's the end of round two. Clearly, Wardham's round there. This fight is absolutely changed from round one to round two. You know, it's, it's absolutely amazing how much how much you know a round can make a difference in a fight. Very, very close to first round. The second fight, obviously, second round, obviously went to Burdum. He, he controlled the entire pace of that entire round, of that entire fight, that entire round. And now that means, well, it could be one round apiece, judging, depending how the judges score this fight. Right now, we don't have an official scorecard, so very, very close. Round one, round two, clearly in the hands of Fabricio Wardham as we get ready to get started for round three. Right now, both fighters just absolutely tired. To show you the highlights, I mean, look at Wardham, how athletic he is. Landed that high kick later on, would get the fight to the ground. Tried for the uh, guillotine choke there, and Gonzaga clearly pulled his head out easily, but later on in the round, it was all Wordham all the time. Show you highlights really from the first two rounds, how things have changed between round to round, and bring it to the third and final round. Fabricio Wordham and Gabriel Gonzaga. Battling it out, and Fabricio leading right where he left off. Continues the strikes. Gonzaga looks clearly tired. He's taking a lot of the shots now. Yeah, absolutely. He's starting to get beat up a little bit. He's got, he's got to get this back down to the ground, or he's got to move. I mean, he's just standing right there taking the punch. He needs to get out of that position. Word him just clearly teeing off there. Finally, Gonzaga lands with a knee in the good right hand. Well, great job, you know, kind of fighting back a little bit, but you really can't stay inside that 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 distance of getting punched. If you're going to stand still and you want to, you want to take a little bit of a break and way outside so you don't get hit at all. Wardham continues the short uppercuts. Now both fighters taking a little breather here in this third round. Once again, two tired fighters really battling it out, giving it their all on a very hot and humid night from the Amazon. Fabrizio continuing with those short little uppercuts. Not gonna do much damage, but it will kind of bug the opponent to maybe try to change the position of the move. And now both fighters working back to the ropes. Gonzaga playing a little possum here. Looks super exhausted, looks like he's extremely tired. And all of a sudden lands a big big knee hook and uh, all of a sudden he's back in this round again. You know, wonder, sometimes fighters take off rounds. I'm not sure if that was the case, but he looks like he has a lot more energy from round two to round three. Yeah, that's for sure. He de definitely does. And gotta kind of see what, what's going on here. It, uh, it, you know, Gonzaga tends to, tends to push the action a little bit and 
he may have pushed it too much in the first couple of rounds and just needed a little bit to, to regroup himself. Both fighters try to finish strong here in this third and final round. Fabricio Wordham, the big favorite coming in, but it was Gabriel Gonzaga surprising a lot of people in the first round. Wordham came back in the second and now trying to find out who's going to win this third and final round. Both fighters exhausted. You can just see, see them leaning on up one another. This humidity will zap it out of anybody. Oh, oh good wow. right hand there. Landed by Wardham and continues the assault. Good combination now. Picking up his game and Gonzaga clearly tired. Nice knee landed by Wardham. Wow, he's picking it up. Jeez, he got rocked there. He's doing a great job of staying on his feet. You know, didn't really tie him up and lean inside and, and kind of got him up, you know. Uh, uh, Burnham is, is looking, you know, looking to Paula Field, the referee, to hey, look, can, can we stop this, please? Can we, can we finish this fight? He's like, no, no, he's still okay. He's still in the fight. Yeah, absolutely. You get this tired and you'll look any way you can to try to get out. Oh, nice knee again by Wardham. Wow. Continues with the knees, just holding the back of the head and right now Gonzaga getting the worst of this exchange another knee lands by Wardham another one continues to lay it out Paulo Fila watching very closely now and Gonzaga just goes to his back this is a bad move for Gonzaga he is clearly tired he's taking a lot of punishment and he's in big trouble Wardham trying to finish this fight now he gets the arm. Oh, he's putting it on him. That's going to be a submission if he can lock it in. Wow, he got out of that submission. Good job. Set right back over that mountain. Looks like he wanted to finish him with a key lock. And did the that's corner it. throw in the tally? That, that's that's it. it. Forget about it. Fabriuso word I'm just so impressive in this third round. Actually, the second and third round for that matter. A couple huge knees. Really changed the course of the fight. He did an amazing job. Aos 13 e 21 do terceiro round. I mean, it's tremendous. You can see the disappointment on him. He's sitting there with his coach and his mentor, Makako. I mean, it's just, it's so hard when you try to you fight that hard, you stay in it. And you know what, really, he, he never tapped out. He never, he never gave up. But he didn't, uh, you know, he just didn't have what it was tonight to be the guy as good as uh, Fabricio Wardham tonight. Fabricio Wardham, it was a tough fight. An exhausting fight, but nonetheless, a great, great win for him. He wins tonight in Jungle Fight. Give you a couple of looks. I mean, that right hand dropped him. Landed some great knees later on. And then wanted to finish him with the key lock. And give you another couple of looks of the stand-up game. This, this was an exciting third round. Wardham continued to pound on him, especially in the second round. That's where he really changed the fight. And then the third round, you see the uh, barrage, the assault, lands the left, rights, and Gonzaga just had nothing to retaliate with. No, he was just too, he was just too tired. He was outmatched at this point. But a young kid, he's definitely gonna fight again. You know, he's definitely gonna be a guy that, that we'll see again. You know, in a future fight, that, and he'll do a great job. And here is just you know finally Paul had to step in there and stop it up, stop it. It wasn't easy, but it was a great win nonetheless for Fabricio Wordham tonight in Jungle. It's time for our next fight.